It is about to be a very exciting weekend of the Portland International Raceway. The Grand Prix of Portland is back. It sounds like, oh, the Grand Prix of Portland, it would happen every year. It used to, but now it hasn't happened for 11 years, since 2007. But it kicks off this weekend, Labor Day weekend, and I am standing next to the defending champion of the Grand Prix of Portland, Sebastian Bourdais. Congratulations. I guess it's kind of, I'm sorry we didn't congratulate you for 11 years, but but you probably still remember that moment, right? Yeah, it was a, it was a great race. Uh, I think if I remember right, it was the 100th win of the team as well at the time, so it was, a, it was a pretty big deal. So yeah, you are the defending champion. Does that make, give you like more pressure? How do you feel going to this weekend? Uh, you know, just uh, we, we've had some good successes on, on road courses, so feeling pretty good about it. Uh, we will get a, a new sponsor this weekend uh, with Gorilla Automotive Products, so you know, I think uh, that on that number 18 is going to be pretty sporty, hopefully. Now this car that you guys, you didn't drive it up, you kind of, you brought it in a trailer, however, you could have this driven this. This is not this. mine. Right. <laughs> this is not mine. Just, you know, this, this is, is the not street, what you'll be racing. This, this is a street legal one. But that's the crazy thing, this is street legal, so you could, we could just drive this around we could just drive away from the studio which who knows by the end of the show maybe maybe we'll just do that but what is the difference between this race car this indy car and and the actual ones that will be in the race well obviously my car only has one seat for one ah uh, you're not so gonna you're not gonna let me come with you this yeah, weekend well i mean you have a real <laughs> two-seater that actually is you know on the base of a race car but yeah i mean it's a, it's a much lower car the more downforce on it with bigger wings, uh, the tires are obviously slicks. This is the road, road tire, uh, Firestone road tires. Uh, and uh, yeah, just, uh, just a, a few subtle differences, but uh, that make a pretty big difference because uh, the, the Honda power plant at the back of our car <laughs> makes 700 horsepower and, and this does not. 700 horsepower, so how, how fast do you think you're going to go around that track this weekend? Uh, probably close to 180, 185. That's it. Oh, cool. yeah, Zach. What was that, Zach? Oh, that, that, that's it. Yeah, just 185. I don't think I've ever even driven 100 miles per hour ever in my life. How did you discover this was something that you wanted to get into? Uh, well, it's a long story, but my dad got me a motorcycle when I was three years old. So uh, I guess... Uh, yeah. Just like every three-year-old has, right? I guess I knew how to motorcycle before I knew how to cycle. So that, that, was, that was that for me. So you're in Portland, obviously, a few days before this kicks off because you got test Test runs Thursday, Friday, then the final actual race is on Sunday. What are you doing to get ready in the next few days? Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, you're going to get ready for the test uh, on Thursday uh, tomorrow. And, uh, you know, just tune the car and find the right setup and hopefully uh, um, be all prepared for, for the weekend. Well, again, Sebastian Bourdais, congratulations. 11 years ago, we might get to congratulate you, hopefully, again in a few days because the Grand Prix of Portland kicks off this Friday. And then Sunday is the whole race at the Portland International Raceway.